impacts of climate change are already being felt and will only get worse if we continue as we are now. Climate change is causing a threat to food production and a scarcity of key resources. This is pushing up the cost of living which will impact us all. It's not too late to prevent further consequences. We need to reach net zero emissions. Net zero emissions are achieved when all emissions released to the atmosphere from human activities are balanced by removing emissions over a specified period to stop any increase in the overall concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. The energy sector contributes about 40% of global carbon dioxide emissions. Despite improvements in some countries, the average global carbon dioxide emissions from this sector has hardly changed over the last 20 years. We need to accelerate change. We need to act now. And everyone needs to play a part. So what is the current picture of the energy industry? And how do we measure the impact? Firstly, we measure the amount of emissions produced per unit of activity to find our carbon intensity. This could be the carbon dioxide emissions per tonne of product or kilometres travelled. We report these emissions throughout the entire value chain, from the direct emissions we produce right through to the emissions our customers produce by using our products. We label these Scope 1, 2 and 3. Scope 1 emissions are those directly tied to a company's operations. Scope 2 are indirect emissions connected to energy we buy from other companies. And Scope 3 are indirect emissions connected with our supply chain, customers and other investments. So how do we create a low carbon energy industry for the future? We need to reach net zero emissions to limit global temperature increase. We do this by adapting and mitigating. Activities that produce greenhouse gas emissions are carbon positive. Our aim is to reduce emissions to as low as possible, then capture and offset what is left to become carbon negative. There are many ways we can do this, and they all involve integration and collaboration across the energy industry. We need to decarbonize. This could be done by using more efficient technology that uses less fuel, or optimizing our current operations, such as turning off equipment we don't need. We can electrify platforms and operations with power from offshore and onshore renewable energy sources. We can increase our low carbon fuel options, such as hydrogen and biodiesel. We can produce and source energy from renewable options like solar, wind, wave technology and biomass. And use battery storage to retain and use all the energy we produce. And finally, when we've reduced as much as is physically possible, we can safely capture and offset any emissions still being produced using carbon capture, usage and storage technology. We can do this by developing nature-based solutions, such as planting trees or restoring peat bogs which act as carbon sinks. So how can you, your organization and the energy industry be part of a low carbon future? Look for opportunities to avoid, reduce, replace and offset emissions. Avoiding involves things like thinking before you order something. Do you need it? Will you use it? Are you ordering too much? Reducing emissions involves things like switching to renewable energy sources and low carbon fuels. Ensuring vehicles are not left running recycling and turning off devices when not in use. Replacing involves ensuring kit and equipment are of a good quality considering its longevity and life cycle. Offsetting could involve rolling out carbon negative technologies, tree planting, paying fees to offset flights and net zero investment. Support your organization in its net zero objectives, sustainability strategies and action plans. 
help to communicate them and raise awareness. Bring your own ideas as well. And if you don't see action, offer to help. Assessing and rethinking the way we do things, increasing energy efficiency and reducing emissions can save you and the business money. By setting a target of net zero and making operations efficient, companies are ensuring that they are playing their part in delivering safe, clean and cost-effective energy and building resilience against a future where resources will become increasingly scarce and expensive. We can only achieve our goals if we have collaboration across the energy industry. It will take a culture and behavior shift in every single one of us. And sometimes it could mean taking brave steps outside our comfort zone. Do one small thing. Do what you can. And if everyone does, it will make a world of difference.